Hello out there. I tried to mess around with your uh, accessory add-on, the Austrian other uh, the, the Austrian version, and I made some GDLs for it. So look, it's functioning. Uh, I want to make yeah a railing or something like this, and it's necessary to change points of it later. So I added uh, a code for editable hotspots which are linked to the original. So if I change this one, you see it follows. When I've numbered it to see the behavior of the add-on, to reverse engineer it, if you would call it so. If I put a new point in, this must be the three and it makes it. But if Remember, here's the one. If I do it back, I delay the point, it makes this. So you see, it jumps back. I go back one step. If I do it the other way, it also jumps back. When I make a new point, it stays. If I give it back, it jumps the other way. Another segment jumps the other way. I do it back. So it's not uh, reachable how it jumps. Sometimes it jumps back, sometimes it jumps for. So another problem. Okay, now it's here again. And so the linking of the coordinates is not to predict. You can't tell what it does really. So if you, it, it is linked, super, but you can't uh, tell the point that it has to stay on this one. So if I do it inside and I make, uh, I do one element I delete one element, it jumps from here to here, I go back. So this on in this form is not really usable for something like my ideas. So I hope it will, will be developed in a way that the first point always stays or if there's a way to, to, to tell the thing. Uh, by myself where the first point is and stays. So another problem, if I make something round, it does not make a real, a real round edge like on this lab, it makes a lot of new points. And that's very bad for us uh, scripters to deal with that. I have to find out uh, how I can make the GDL uh, recognize that this should be a round thing. It would be much better not to have this mass of new points, just two points and like the original slab rounding, a real rounding. Okay, thank you. That's my two major points for a good using of this. Thank you.